Hey folks, welcome back to another uh, layout update. This is Chad. Uh, this would be the April, end of April layout update. Uh, just got back from our uh, annual train show we have here at the end of April every year. And I'm uh, going to kind of show you a couple of the uh, purchases I made. And uh, we'll see what else we can talk about during this video. You're looking at uh, an older release from Atherin. Uh, I think it's been, what, maybe a year or two that these have came out, but I've been looking and looking forever for them. And courtesy of Spring Creek Model Trains, who was at our show, they had this car and this one. I was able to grab them uh, up from them, and uh, that helped me out great to uh, kind of increase my rolling stock. I'm still looking for the rest of them, and as soon as I find them, I will be... Uh, collecting more of them. Um, this one I actually got off of eBay. This is the uh, new release from Atlas, the Alaska Railroad. But actually I'm gonna, since I modeled the DM&E, they had a couple of cars, flat cars like this, and I'm going to find some yellow lettering and change out the reporting marks and car number on this and turn it into DM&E 1004 and uh, see if I can find any more pictures of some blue flat cars. I know they had a uh, couple of them. We had a couple in our yard here where I worked for them and uh, one of them that I saw had ramps on both ends that fold up that were used I'm assuming for transporting maintenance of oil equipment and stuff like that but I'd like to model that too and I'd like to find a picture of it if I can somewhere and uh, do a model of that one. But the biggest score of them all I was happy to say and again thanks to Spring Creek Model Trains I was able to find my last two Verison Energy DDG hoppers that I've been looking for. I had already had the one uh, right there, but I was missing these two. And I had emailed her, Deb, earlier and uh, asked if she still had any and to bring them with her to the show and I'd buy them from her. And her response back was, unfortunately, they had sold. Well, when they got up to the show, um, her husband, Dave, uh, actually found these in the bottom of one of their trailers and brought them to our show so I was very fortunate in scoring these last two Verisun cars that they had um, so yeah I was pleasantly happy with that score uh, moving along I also picked up off of uh, HO yard sale on Facebook this uh, nice SD70 Mac or excuse me SD70M older release after in Genesis I gotta get a decoder in it so I will uh, be putting a decoder in that and uh, updating that a little bit. And I was also able to score off of eBay this uh, 9702 C44-9W. I plan on uh, making it look like the prototype, how the prototype is today with the uh, uh, lettering off of the long hood here, making it blank and putting the UP shield and the Building America slogan on everything there. Um, so once I get uh, decals and stuff like that so that's what's gonna happen to that I'm gonna make that one look a little bit prototypical that was a first uh, one of the first release from Cato and I mentioned that was an Atherin Genesis one too so but about that's about it for uh, what I've got I'm slowly rebuilding my locomotive uh, uh, fleet here. I've got four and I've been told they will be in tomorrow morning probably but I won't be able to get to them till this weekend but I've got four Iowa, Chicago and Eastern Intermountain SD40-2s SD that will like I said be in tomorrow morning and I probably won't be able to get to them until uh, this weekend sometime because of my work schedule but uh, so I'll add four more locomotives to my uh, engine facility here but other than that nothing much has really changed um, other than, uh, oh, I also picked up uh, this crossing signal detector from, uh, let's see here, SB Signal Company. Um, I'll be putting that in over by the scrapyard for the crossing signals there. I've been reading up on the instructions. I'm not the best in uh, electrics and wiring, but uh, hopefully I can make this work. If not, I can always call my buddy Mike Christensen. He's got one of these, and he knows them inside and out, so uh, he can help me out hopefully on this one. But uh, yeah, I'll be installing that here. Maybe the next layout update I'll have that installed and working. Um, also added a, another structure here. I got my transloading facility building and put that in. This is just going to be basically a maintenance away uh, shop area for the UP. Just another industry for my railroad to service. 
Um, just kind of laying things out and doing some scenery on it. Uh, haven't gotten around to detailing it yet because it's too clean. It needs to be dirtied up a little bit. And I'm trying to make it, I don't know if I like this yet or not, but I uh, took these garage doors out and put some pike stuff roof panels in so it looks like corrugated siding, like they took out some doors and just blocked them up. But uh, we'll see how well that turns out here in the long run. But uh, that's about it for the layout update as of right now. Um, again, hopefully here in the next couple of weeks I'll have another layout update with some more information and uh, more reviews and stuff like that but as of right now I'm just kinda slowly getting back into the hobby and stuff like that work is picking up so it's gonna be a little bit before I get back into uh, everything that I was doing before so but I wanna thank everybody who subscribed and my recent subscribers and I hope you guys continue to subscribe and uh, we shall talk to you a little bit later on down the road alright thanks